Hi, and welcome to Ask Store Growers, the show where we answer all of your e-commerce questions. Today's question comes from David from Belgium, and he asks, how can I set up e-commerce tracking for my website? To start off, let's quickly discuss the benefits of enabling e-commerce tracking. Basically, it will give you more insights into your sales and it will allow you to answer questions like which AdWords campaign sends me the most valuable customers or how much sales did that promo email of last week generate? To be able to answer these questions, we're going to need some extra data and out of the box, Google Analytics doesn't come with conversion nor e-commerce tracking enabled. So next to our normal Google Analytics tracking code, we're gonna need to make some changes to the Google Analytics code to send transactional data every time an order takes place. We'll send through things like which products were bought, how many of them, at what price, which product categories do they belong to, etc. For example, on Shopify, it's super easy, just clicking two buttons and you get everything up and running. With WooCommerce, you download a plugin. If you're not using a platform that makes it easy to set up e-commerce tracking, you will need to go through some extra steps. Basically, you will need to add custom code to the order confirmation page. If you're not that technically skilled, you will probably need a developer to take care of this. But Let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes to understand it better. So what kind of data do we actually need to send back to Google Analytics or with our own custom code or with an integration on one of those platforms like Shopify? Well, it might look really complicated, but actually it's pretty easy. First, we're gonna give it a unique order ID so we can identify so we, and Google Analytics as well, can identify which order it is. We're gonna mention our store, total price, taxes, shipping, and then some geographic information. Then for every product in the order, we're gonna create something similar. We're gonna say which order it belongs to, what our SKU code is, what the product name is, what category or variation it is. This, the variation could be um, if you're selling a sweater, for example, it could be a green medium sweater. Again, we say the unit price and then the quantity. So if you've configured everything well, normally your shopping cart should be sending transactional data back to Google Analytics. Now all that's left for us is to enable the e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics. That can be done you know, on the view level, means the right column. There, click e-commerce settings and that should take you to a menu where you can enable it. Then, if everything is working properly, you should be, you should be seeing e-commerce data in your Google Analytics. Beware that it will only track orders made from this point. So if you set it up today, check back in a couple of days to see if the data are coming in correctly. You will be able to see metrics like e-commerce conversion rate, number of transactions, total revenue, average order value, unique purchases, the quantity of products that have been ordered, which products are performing well, what is the time to purchase, etc. There's a lot, a lot of valuable information in these reports that you now have access to. That was all for this week. Have you got your own little or big e-commerce challenge? Let us know in the comments and perhaps you'll be featured in one of the future episodes. You can also check the show notes where we provide more links to make setting up this e-commerce tracking easier. To find out how you can track Facebook visitors in Google Analytics, 
check out the previous episode. To subscribe, click the right link.